Leviathan here. Today we are going to do another POV video with the McLaren 650S. Let's do a quick walk around and then we'll go for a drive. Welcome back to the McLaren 650S. Today we are going to do a POV video. Since the last time I did this, a lot of folks, Dr. M3 included, have asked for more. So today we are going to do just that, but I'm going to make it a little bit different. We are going to head downtown to get some epic drone shots of the McLaren 650S with the city of Toronto behind me. As we drive towards the secret spot, I'm going to share a bit more about why I YouTube. So let's go for a cruise. Before we go for our drive, let me just run through the settings for today. Right now I have it in normal mode, but the second I go onto open road, I'm gonna press this active dynamics button and I'm gonna have my transmission to track, my arrow on and my handling in normal mode. And that's really all there is to it. Right now the car is fully raised, everything looks good. So let's go for a cruise. And we are rolling. So today I'm going to talk a little bit more about why I like to YouTube. As you know, I don't get a lot of views nor do I have a lot of subscribers, but I still love to make videos. So the whole reason I got into making YouTube videos was to share my experience with everyone else. I felt when I had the Aston Martin, my first exotic, I didn't drive it as much as I should have. And when I look back, I started to regret not driving it and not really experiencing it. So when I got the Ferrari F430, I made a promise to myself that I would have to really experience and enjoy the car. And as evidence, I would capture my experiences and my adventure and I would post and share them. And a few of my videos did go fairly viral and then ever since then it gave me the motivation to keep making videos on a regular basis. It's also a great way for me to be creative and share some of my ideas, my thoughts and my adventures. To me, my goal and ambition isn't just a matter of views and likes and comments, but really connecting and sharing my adventures and my experience. The great thing about YouTube is it also opened the door to quite a few experiences and adventures. I was able to review quite a few interesting cars. I was invited to the Michelin Pilot Experience, and I made quite a few friends who often come along on a drive with me, switching to active, a thrill just getting on the highway so those are just some of the reasons why I love making videos I just love being able to be creative and share my adventures and my stories with the world I don't need anything more so today I'm actually heading downtown to get an incredible backdrop of the city I'm making another reaction video and I thought I'd change it up a little bit to show the city of Toronto behind me Unlike Germany, in Toronto, most people don't use the passing lane to pass. I have to race my car here because there are train tracks. It takes a little bit of time to race, but we should be good. Here, I'm going to drop the backlight. There you have it. Oh, yeah! You guys 
are here right now. It sounds phenomenal. Now you can start to see the city. That is the city of Toronto. You have arrived at your destination. Hey, good morning. I'm just gonna get some pictures if that's okay. Oh yeah, it's okay. I was just going to the parking lot upstairs. 15 minutes? Thank you, man. Let's check out the views. All right, time to head back. Guy was very nice. try and do something a little bit special for you guys hopefully you can see it I'm gonna accelerate to 100 brake really hard and hopefully you'll see the air brakes deploy that's one of my favorite features in this car just seeing those giant air brakes go up all right hopefully you can see it there you go do you see that I love seeing the air brakes. It's just incredible to watch that. You see nothing in your rear view mirror, but the air brake. So there you have it. That is why I enjoy making videos on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Until next time.